This is Mark Sedak from CounterBoxing.com with the AM Ball Pro Report. Reminder, this is for educational purposes only. Consult your financial professional. Options have risk. Well, let's discuss the markets today. Um, yeah. Let's, uh, you know, we've got some interest rates moving. We had some economic data today. Um, if you look at bonds, you know, they're down a touch. You got the 10-year down a touch. You got the um, TLT down a touch. So interest rates are actually uh, moving around. And that's because of uh, economic data. You also had a Fed governor go on CNBC and say she wants rates over 1% by the end of next year. So one of the more aggressive uh, rate hikers. Now with that, take a look around. You've got uh, some of the financials, they, you know, they rallied off the bottom yesterday off of the oil news. You know, that uh, they finally reached an agreement. Oil is saved. Um, but then, uh, you know, they're a little softer today, uh, even though bonds are, are down. They usually, you, you might expect something different. Apple's off a little bit today, but if you look at the rest of FANG, Facebook off, but getting near that 130 level. Google up, Amazon way up, and good old Netflix uh, not doing much. So it's kind of a, a, a blah day today. Uh, there's not a ton of news. We had the big news with that the OPEC uh, OPEC stuff, but um, aside from that, really not a lot going on. Uh, and as I look around. You know, you've got the market down two, the Russell down maybe uh, the most at four points, almost, a, you know, a little over a third of a percent, and really nothing else moving. Uh, the VIX is marginally higher, really nowhere. Um, the, the thing that continues to be an issue and continues to really drive this is... Futures. I mean, take a look. You've got the VIX at 12 and a half and the OX future at 15 and a quarter. That's a two and three quarter point spread. That is insanely wide. Like nuts. And needs to flush out. And uh, it's going to flush out with either Futures coming in or the VIX cash rallying. And right now, my gut says futures have to come in. I really like fair put plays uh, in VIX. I think the October 15 puts for a dollar are way too cheap, given what's on the table. Uh, in fact, I think the entire complex is too cheap, all the way down to the OX 13. all too cheap. Uh, same thing kind of holds true in November, although the November future relative to October seems okay. November is not insane relative to October. It's October that is out of whack. All right, if I pull up this curve, let me pull up VIX Central here for you folks. You can see You know, maybe December is a little cheap. That's because of the holidays. November doesn't seem that insane, but look at that spread. That is absolutely nuts. All right, and, and that is just a really crazy contango. If you look at the spot F1 roll, you can see how high it is. I mean, it's this is going back years, and we're about as high as we've been. It's 
So that is fascinating. And I would be, I like playing Vix to back off. Uh, if you want to put some sort of hedge in there, maybe it makes sense. But uh, there is something really wrong there. Uh, and there's a trade there. All right, folks. Uh, I hope everybody has a great day, and I'll talk to you soon.